foam roller wall squat. Now this is a fantastic exercise to help ease into a squat pattern movement. It's a great way to strengthen your legs, especially if you've got issues with your knees in the past, to gradually increase the intensity and then build up your ability. All you need is a foam roller and a wall and you can get started. So initially how you're gonna start with placement, you're gonna step a foot and two, maybe two feet away from the wall. Um, don't be afraid to play with this position. It might be a bit different, it might be closer, it might be further away for you and that's fine. You're then gonna just push your hips back and the starting point is gonna look like this. Your hips will be in contact with the foam roller and your feet are gonna be in front a little bit, about hip width or a bit wider. And then hands on your chest, shoulders, whatever. You're just gonna come down and come up. Simple, come down, come up. Work within a range that you feel comfortable. Obviously the lower you go, the better. You should feel a good amount of burn through your thighs, potentially a little bit through your glutes. Um, the idea is as you're going down, you wanna make sure that you're pushing through your entire foot. Don't shift the bias to your heels or your toes, pushing through an entire foot. Um, and if you were to watch me front on, my knees would be in line with my toes. I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm right here. Knees in line with the toes. So again, bum is in contact with the foam roller. Stepping away from the wall to a distance that feels comfortable. Feet are about hip width or just outside of hip width. Toes are slightly pointed out. Hands on my shoulders. Coming down. Up. Down. Up. One more. Down. Up. Essentially whatever the designated amount of reps are in the program. Some things to keep in mind when performing this exercise is making sure you're focusing on full range of motion assuming you can pushing through your entire foot, um, controlling the movement of your knees, making sure they're not moving and wobbling around, they're in line with your toes. Um, and aside from that, it's, it's straightforward, you should feel it through your thighs. If there's a little bit of knee pain, that's okay, see how you progress. Potentially the second and the third set will feel better than the first. Um, if it's still uncomfortable, you can try putting the feet a bit further away, and this can back off the intensity and loading of the knee. Um, otherwise, don't be afraid to bring it in a little bit and experiment with that sensation. Other than that, just from a safety perspective, you wanna make sure that the wall you're using is uh, firm and safe, that's all. So don't perform this exercise on a door, for example, especially if it has like a glossy paint on it, because one, the foam roller could easily slide off, and two, if someone opens the door behind you or the door isn't secured properly, as you lean into it, you could fall through it, all right? This foam roller, for example, with a sort of rubber foam has a great deal of friction against the wall. So it's not gonna slide on me. Whereas if you had like a plastic foam roller against the wall, that could be a little bit dangerous. So just keep that in mind. That is unusual to have a foam roller like that, but just keep that in mind when performing this exercise. Always practice safety. Make sure it's not gonna move on you when you first set up for the exercise. And then other than that, it's pretty straightforward.